Hi viewers, welcome to Blood Test. It is a pleasure meeting you all through this Blood Test channel in this wonderful video. Today is an exciting video and we are going to talk about the laboratory equipments we need to purchase for our laboratory. The, the first and the foremost one is the centrifuge. You are running a collection center, a mid or a large size laboratory. You need to have this basic centrifuge. The next one is the incubator. Incubator is mainly for the microbiological cultures. You have various variants of incubators from 5,000 rupees to even 90,000 or a lakh of rupees. You can purchase an incubator. However, is the need of your microbiology specimens. According to that, you can purchase your incubator. The next one is the electronic weighing machine. So this electronic weighing machine is very essential in the clinical pathology in which you need to measure the grams of various stains for preparing them. And apart from that, for one of the tests, that is the GTT or the glucose tolerance test, in which you have to measure the amount of glucose and give to the patient. For this also, you need to have the electronic weighing scale. The next one is the hot plate. The hot plate is needed in clinical pathology and microbiology. Next comes our water bath. Water bath is mainly needed for the pathology. And if you're going to have uh, FNAC or, you know, uh, you're going to have histopathology, then this water bath is going to play a major role in your laboratory. Now comes the blood mixer. The blood mixer is one of the important component, very similar to the centrifuge. You need to have a centrifuge and blood mixer even starting from the collection center to the large size laboratory. This blood mixer, you can have a vertical blood mixer or the horizontal blood mixer as you can see in the picture. So the main ideology of, you know, having a blood mixer is when a technician or, you know, a junior technician, you know, when they shake the uh, tubes, the sample tubes in which the anticoagulant is there, you know, sometimes they shake it very vigorously or inadequately. Sometimes the blood samples are not adequately mixed with the chemical or the sample gets lysed due to the vigorous shaking. When you use a blood mixer, that is not going to happen and you have even distribution of the blood mixed with the chemical. Now comes the next one, that is the pipettes. Pipettes, you can have various range. You know, we have many types of pipettes in which the volume of the reagent and sample is measured. This is very, very important in doing the biochemical tests. Now coming to the Bunsen burner. So the next one is the Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner, when you're running a laboratory, if you're a technician, you would know this, the, the importance of using this Bunsen burner. This Bunsen burner is important mainly for microbiology in which, you know, you have to streak all the samples into the plate. Comes the last one, which I'm going to speak about. That is the microscope. If you're running a small, mid or large laboratory, this microscope wears a very major role, mainly in the clinical pathology. Pathology. So in a clinical pathology, the technician also needs a microscope to report, you know, the WBCs or you say deposits. To see the deposits, you need to have a micro microscope. This is all about the instruments or equipments basically needed in a laboratory setup. Any doubts or if you need to have more information on setting up your laboratory, you can contact us at pathlabstartup at gmail.com or you can also call us in the below number. Kindly write your comments and also press the bell icon if you like our videos and kindly subscribe our channel. Thank you. See you tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye. Signing off, Dr. Lalita.